But now we'll look at these dynamic coupling movements and if we start to look at the lateral hip series uh, you'll start to see some of the features that we've talked about already really being put into practice. We can see some of the common errors are often the pelvic drop, contralateral trunk sway or rotation, all of which can contribute to excessive load through the hip and anterior groin structures. Conversely we can also get excessive load through the contralateral hip flexors as they work to compensate for the lack of stability during single leg stance on the contralateral side. The entry level exercise for the hip lock stream is the leg change drill with hands on hips. Here we start in a single leg stance position with the hands on our hips and look to rapidly change between legs ensuring there's a point at which both legs are off the ground. We want to emphasize a two or three second pause to ensure the stability is guaranteed. If we look at a side view, we can see that not only is the pelvis maintained in a neutral position, but he's also extended at the hip and at the knee during mid stance. Common errors are the inability to fully extend during mid stance, or conversely, as we look straight on, the inability to avoid pelvic drop and trunk sway or maintain a stable position for a two or three second hold. Again, it's the ability to rapidly change and maintain that stable position, which is key.